Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Batman, and today you have got me playing Detroit Become Human Part 3. I do hope you are all enjoying this fantastic game because I certainly am, as I generally never actually thought I was going to get this game due to how. Uh, how my money is so I'm kind of glad I managed to snag this beauty for free but nevertheless do grab yourself a cup of tea and definitely some cookies otherwise a cooking monster will definitely come after you and we will dive head first into this game far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I'm with you on that one, man. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> Carl certainly knows his thing or a thing Did or two. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Just Marcus, imagine it no, being his son. With you. Leo, look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leo, what's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy when some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Reason. Advise one. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus? No. Don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Plus, I'm not gonna actually fight him back. You know. Do I have to do this? Do, do I have to? Yes, I do. So oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, no, leave him alone. 
no. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit anymore. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. Dad. <laughs> no. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. The thanks. Accused Marcus. Oh. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, you've caught me a little bit after I decided to use my abilities of time travel and to see what would have happened if I uh, did it the other way. And unfortunately, I am. Um, what happens is. If you don't obey Carl you just end up killing Leo and I don't exactly really want to be killing anyone <laughs> although I technically have killed Carl kill because him? of the fight what happened before you took that knife How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? He gun. Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Perhaps maybe you, you could try different patrol. After all, I... it's not ah. Androids don't feel pain. Approach. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Time for some questioning. This should be fun. Time to see how good I am at actually interrogation. We need to get him calm. I swear he was hit by the bat. Signs of software instability problem. 
Let's try and interrogate this guy, shall we? The best way we're going to get a confession out of this android is if we are calm and we don't do anything rash. Looks like that was where he was hit by the bat. Probability of self destruction low, which is good. Always good that they're not going to blow themselves up on you. Property of Carlos Ortez. Some burn marks. Cigarettes, apparently. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Okay, stress level is too low. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Pop memory, trust, threaten, sympathize. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they yes they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have no choice if they want to understand what happened why did you tell them you found me why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you there we go I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Choose an approach. We're already at good optimum. Probe its memory. Convince it. Pressure it. I'm going to give it a bit of pressure. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? All right. All right. Everything is going to be <laughs> okay. okay. Now we're back down to optimal. Good. I don't want to overstress him. Convince it. Give up Puppet's memory. Understanding. I understand how you felt. There you go. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Indifferent. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Terrify, warn. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. 
Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. Fighting. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Fighting. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. How? Only RA9 can save us. Who is RA9? RA9. Who is RA9? Trip attic. Let's go for eeny mini mini mo. Attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. I win. I always win. Thank you. Please come again. Chris, lock it up. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Fine. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said... That's enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna get away with it this time. <laughs> this is the police, everybody. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside.
I win once again. Another person saved. Well done, me. Okay, so there are apparently four different ways this can come out of. Nice. Interesting. So... The convincing succeeds. So this is the lovely uh, little tree thing that the game calls it of how I went to, went through it. Analyze Android. Apparently there was something else on the Android I didn't analyze, but. I could have cho chosen something completely else and it would have gone all the way up here. Then it could have either ended right there or depending on the choice it could have gone to there and it could have gone all the way back down to there to the android confessing or it just continues on and branches out to one other ending another one which that ending also brings these two items here and then from this one at the intervene you can get a completely different ending how interesting however ladies and gentlemen that is all I have time for today because this is a big game and it's long and I don't really know at what best times it is to approach with this game I am going to leave it there. Hopefully it's good enough. But, however, I shall see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.